Now, Teddy Roosevelt is one of the most interesting American figures in all U.S. history. He is also just about every little American boy's favorite president. He was certainly mine. And it took me a lot of years to try to figure out why. And I think most American boys grow out of that uh, fascination with Roosevelt because the reason we are so fascinated as little boys with Teddy Roosevelt is because the things that motivated Teddy Roosevelt, the things that were important to Teddy Roosevelt, are the very same things that motivate little boys. He was an adventure junkie, as one associate pointed out about Teddy Roosevelt after he became president. They said, quote, You must always remember that the president is about six, end quote. Which wasn't that untrue. The guy sort of reminds me sometimes of a heavily armed, imperialistic, racist version of Peter Pan. You know, always leading a troop of kids on an adventure. Now, the whole racist thing requires a little explanation, too, because racism is something you really have to grade on a curve. If you took Teddy Roosevelt out of his time period and brought him into today and sat him down, he would make Archie Bunker look like a liberal. He would be a screaming racist. But if you grade him on a curve and consider the average American's level of racism in the late 19th century as the benchmark, then Teddy Roosevelt is a progressive on the issue of race. Today's show is brought to you by Audible. Please visit audiblepodcast.com forward slash Dan Carlin for your free audiobook download. 